Hi everyone, welcome back to our uh, Tagalog version uh, series of research writing. So the previous video is all about yung research design. So we did discuss the topic selection and then paano siya mag-transition sa pagpili ng research design uh, using the research questions. So for this video, we will be concentrating on paano isulat yung introduction ng research. Uh, syempre, you have chosen a topic and what we need to do is to provide an example. So for this specific video, our example is effects of optimism bias and inactive learning to academic writing proficiency. So that is our topic. We also use this topic previously and we will we are doing this para sa uh, continuity ng examples natin para hindi siya nakakalito. So, we will start with research questions. So, lahat ng research natin will always be based on our re research questions. Siyempre, kaya tayo nagsusulit ng research kasi meron tayong mga tanong na dapat na sagutin. So, for example, we would like to answer how do the optimism bias, the OB and EL, affect the Filipino college students' academic basic documentation proficiency. Also, we discussed previously that you could add more research questions by providing uh, specific variables. So for this one, what are the Filipino college students' perceptions on the approaches used by the teachers? So you have included specific demographic of or the participants in your study, specifically Filipino college students. And then you can also add research questions number three, what could be the best approach to use in teaching academic writing to Filipino college students. So we will be using this specific paper, which is published last year, 2021, um, regarding the optimism, bias, and plagiarism. Okay. So una, syempre, mag-research tayo. We, kailangan yung makahanap ng mga uh, published research papers that are connected to your paper. So, para ma-organize ang mga na-research ninyo, we need to use the three rhetorical moves in the introduction. So, that is from Swales. Okay. So, yung move one, that is called establishing the research identity. So, since you are looking for different empirical research paper that you can get idea from, dito nyo ma-establish ma yung research identity. So, paano siya ginagawa? A well-written introduction provides background of the study and should answer the following question. What is the problem to be solved? What Are there any existing solutions? What do you hope to achieve? So, yun yung nilalaman dapat ng introduction. So, paano siya ginagawa? Okay. So, for example, I'm using the research paper of Tan and Bensal 2021. So, sa introduction, nilagay nila dito, writing is a very essential language skill that once acquired can make learner an efficient and effective communicator. So, that's part of the background. However, because of writing's passive and complex nature, many learners find this task dreadful. So, obviously, ito na, dito na nagsisimula na i-discuss yung problem about dun sa research to topic. And then, you can elaborate that further with the usage of different empirical papers. Next is, anong gustong ma-achieve ng paper ninyo? So, dito yan mababasa sa last sentence uh, from previous paragraph. So after the locator, it says here, it is then necessary to explicate the teacher's teaching approaches and Filipino college students hurdles in academic writing proficiency. So dahil may problema regarding academic writing proficiency for, for both teachers and Filipino college students, kailangan nating hanapan ng solusyon. Okay. So you have to look for current trends and issues and usually... We are using books, empirical papers, at inorganize natin ang mga nabasa natin at nilalagay natin siya sa section ng introduction, specifically sa review of related literature. So, ano yung basihan natin? 
sa mga ilalagay natin sa review of related literature. So we need to go back doon sa research question. Analyze natin. We have to analyze the research question, the variables in the research questions. So yung mga variables dito is yung reinforcement, specifically OB, which is optimism bias, EL, inactive learning, and then the academic basic documentation proficiency. So ilalagay natin sa review of related literature, yung una muna na variable natin is yung reinforcement. So we will look for current trends and issues and we can find that in published empirical papers, in books, and we will provide a discussion for that like this one. Okay. Ito naman yung discussion for the academic writing proficiency uh, problem. Specifically, nag-specify dito yung paper about plagiarism. So i-discuss din natin yung mga nagiging problema. Okay. So meron pang dalawang uh, variables na kailangan nating i-discuss, which is yung optimism bias. So since optimism bias is a theory, so we can uh, organize it under the section of theoretical background. So you will discuss ano ba yung theory at paano siya pwedeng makonect sa research topic ninyo, which is academic writing proficiency. And then ito yung pangalawang theory na ginamit or yung an, uh, pangalawang uh, variable, inactive learning. So you will also discuss what is inactive learning and how can you connect it sa research topic ninyo. Okay. So again, in establishing research identity, number one, pwede rin kayong mag-provide ng definition of terms kung yung research topic nyo is very complex. Second, background of the study, saan nang gagaling yung research, ano na bang mga pinagkuhaan ninyo ng idea. Next, ano yung problem na gusto nyong uh, ma-address sa paper ninyo? And then, ano yung mga current trends and issues na naisulat na ng mga empirical papers? At i-organize nyo siya sa review of related literature. Ganun din sa theoretical background section. So that's all for move number one, which is establishing the research identity. So you can check other videos. So ang susunod nating pag-uusapan is yung second move which is the research gap. So to support this channel, please hit like, share, and subscribe. Kambat